Dane Cook is an ass. That's it. Just wanted to say that now. Cute title scene. Planes, Fire, and Rescue is a sequel to last year's, not really a smash hit, but a very profitable movie, Planes, which is set in the world of cars, aka the Pixar movies no one ever wanted. But the film wasn't very expensive to make. It was supposed to be just a DVD release, but they liked it so much they put it in theaters. And surprisingly, it was a fun little movie. And after getting out of this movie, it's a fun movie. Like, that's just sort of it. When I saw the trailers, I thought, oh, God, this is just for toys. It's just to milk this to no end. And I watched the movie, and yeah, it's for toys and to milk to no end. But it's actually pretty fun and enjoyable. Essentially, the way it works is you have your talk, main talking plane played by Dane Cook, Dusty, and his big shtick is that I guess he won the race last year. I barely sat through the first movie. And he wins the race, and he decides there's a fire in his hangar one day, and he decides, no, I'm going to be a firefighting plane. I'm sitting there thinking, this is going to be so stupid. Then the action scene starts. I'm not going to lie, you've seen this movie a thousand times. You've seen all these characters a thousand times. But holy mother fuck, the action in this movie is cool. The fire all feels very large, very intense, very big. You actually believe it's there. Watching these planes take the fire out is cool and fun and exciting. The characters, even though, yeah, they're all just cardboard cutouts, exactly what you expect, they still get in some funny lines, and Dane Cook does a good job of being likable in this movie. I mean, again, is this movie worth spending $12 to go see in a world where How to Train Your Dragon 2 exists? Not by any stretch of the imagination, but if you get dragged to this movie by your kids or your siblings or your nephews and nieces, I think you'll have a good enough time with it to at least warrant saying the movie is a 6 out of 10 on the animation scale. Because you know what? They did a good job on this. I mean, should they make a third? Should they put it in theaters? Once again, God, no. But for what it is, it's worth checking out on cable. And what do you think is worth checking out on cable? In the comments section below, give me your favorite movies that probably should have been on TV. You saw them in the theater, you liked them, but you're like, I didn't need to spend all this money to see this. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe, because this is free.